now we have to write the print invoice module that is when the invoice has been generated the administrator will be taken to a new form where he'll be displayed the data for the invoice and uh, he will have the option to print i'll discuss the roadmap and let us see basically we left here print in redirect to action print invoice so we have to add a print invoice action method and its view the action method will receive the id of the invoice that has been generated okay here let us see the root map okay consider this schematic we'll be redirected to this print invoice action method and we'll receive the id of the newly generated invoice here what we'll do is we'll query out the information for the new invoice and pass that data to the print invoice cshtml form this uh, page will be displaying a formatted information in a div about the invoice and optionally also about uh, the customer to whom the invoice is being made and it will carry a print button also now as the experienced developers would be knowing that this print has to be handled through your javascript and uh, whatever is inside a div that can be printed using javascript i won't go into that code you have to research that of yourself so what i'll be doing is i'll be showing the data on a new page then you have the option of writing your own javascript code for printing the contents of this div it is possible so the scope of this module is to read this id and collect the information that has to be shown for a invoice and take the user that is display and take this information to the cshtml view and display it in a formatted manner we won't be formatting it also we won't be wiring this javascript also we'll be simply demonstrating that this is possible and the remainder of the work can be customized as per your needs let us start by writing this print invoice action method it has to be added to the invoice controller and we'll type it somewhere here redirect to action print invoice it is inside the same controller and here we'll type the story so we are typing it print invoice it receives the id of the invoice to be printed tbl order will be queried and since tbl order has attached properties navigation properties for tbl user and tbl product we can make use of those navigational properties and include their respective tables also single or default so with the tbl order item or the row we'll also be getting the data for tbl user and tbl product we could have joined it also but this is a very handy thing that i have always found but of course my recommendations are that whenever you use this type of code be very careful about optimization the speed of your code you will have to do a complete analysis of whether it is better to write this or 